Tonight, the country is still reeling from this week's horrific school shooting in Florida. And once again, we're debating gun control nationwide and here in Washington state. 17 people died at a Parkland High School on Wednesday. Now, tonight at 7, we have new details that help pinpoint how hard the National Rifle Association is working to advance its gun agenda in Congress. The Center for Responsive Politics collected information about NRA contributions to all of our state senators and representatives. It's pretty eye-opening. Just this week, state lawmakers failed to pass a change to the age requirement to buy an AR-15, the rifle used in the Florida shooting. Just yesterday, we sat down with Attorney General Bob Ferguson and asked how that could happen here. How do we have this state that's known to be progressive and we have laws like The this? NRA is a powerful powerful lobby. At the state level and of course at the federal, we went page by page through the spreadsheet report which details NRA donations to all members of Congress during their careers in either the House or the Senate. It also lists donations made to their opponents over the years in an effort to get them out of office. And we found this intriguing nugget. The NRA has spent more than $621,000 trying to oust Washington Democrat Patty Murray and didn't give her a single cent. Senator Murray has long been an advocate of gun control. People are asking and begging for us to do something, anything, to stop this scourge of gun violence. The NRA has not given Washington's junior senator, Democrat Maria Cantwell, any money either, but did donate $1,200 to her opponents over the years. Democrats in the House from Washington state also have not received any money directly from the NRA. But the gun rights organization has given varying amounts to their opponents. The most to those who have run against Olympia's representative, Denny Heck. Among our state Republicans, Southwest Washington's Jamie Herrera Butler has received the most money from the NRA, with Dan Newhouse receiving the least. Dave Reichert is the only Washington state Republican to receive donations from the NRA, while it's also donated to his opponents during his campaigns for Congress. Attorney General Ferguson acknowledges speaking out about the power of this particular special interest comes with a price. Look, I mean, is there a political consequence for me? Hell yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb, right? But do I care? No, me? I don't care. I don't care. You know, I got to live with myself and go to sleep at night oh. and, and all that. Or truly, and that's the way I look at it. Now, in case you were wondering, the biggest beneficiary of the NRA's money is Arizona Republican Senator John McCain. During his 35-year career in Congress, he has received more than $7.7 .7 million.